Assalamu alaikum guys. In this video, we'll talk about terminable middleware in Laravel. So let's start. A terminable middleware is like normal middleware but has extra method called terminate. So let's start and create a new middleware using PHP artisan make middleware and I will call it ter middleware. Here is our middleware extracted and here our normal handle method and here our function called terminate to make it terminable and it takes and must takes two parameter the first one is request that sent to the end point and the response here also right and when will this method work it would work after the request and the response sent to the client. Let me show you quickly here in my endpoint, here my controller, right? And I will use this middleware to my endpoint here API, and I will say here middleware and here term middleware class without registration. You can use it in this way also, right? And here I will send a request. Now the request sent, right? And I will write some things or log some things here. I will say here log and info to save logging in the uh, laravel.log file, right? Here is a message. And I will say here name request name. Now let's send the request again. Request sent back here. And as you can see here, our message name and the name that I sent this name, right? So, what's the difference between that and if I register it here? So, I will say here also log, right? info and I will say message from controller and the same thing name here request name and I will send the request again but first I will clean it here note here in the terminable middleware I am sending it here and also I am sending it in the controller send the request again it sent back to our laravel.log as you can see here message from controller it happens before sending the response or while the request processing but here this method is completely happen after sending this response to user some use cases for example you may send the email from terminate middleware right without making user uh, or without using listeners and the queues and so on you can use it for logging into database and you can use it also for saving the request and response so let's see here i will save the response for example name response and i will say also response or save the response completely actually response right back and send it again sent back to our file as you can see here name here and the completely response data our response data here name email with that value that we sent also here is some quick tips about terminable middleware and also some use cases if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in next videos